Well, hello and welcome, folks. This is Joe from I Repair Electronics. And uh, today, this is an unboxing of a uh, brand new lithium ion charger. So, let's get to it. Ooh, the anticipation. So, as you can see, came from China Post. And, uh, yeah. How much they charge for this, it looks like your guess is as good as mine. I can't figure it out. Not much, though. They have a special deal over there in China, unlike here in the U.S., where things are very cheap to ship. So, but I'm not going to get political here, at least not in this video. What do we got? What do we got? What's in the box? What's in the box? This is the Gray Falcon Lithium Ion Charger. Multi purpose professional charger. I think it charges more than just lithium ion. Well, let's see. How do we open it? How about we? Side. Talking about quality packaging. Put that aside. And we have a little plastic screwdriver kind of a uh, container here. There's the charger. There's a manual. Another bit of paper. A brick of a power supply. And cord for said power supply. And a couple little ancillary little doodads. What is this? A couple silver little hooba jubes. I'm sure I have no idea what those are for. I know what this is for. They're ripping open <laughs> and throwing away because it's a useless piece of trash. Um, let's see. So this is our power cord for the brick. Let's plug that in. And your standard uh, switch mode power supply. Um, one and a half amp. I hope it's enough for the task. Some of these little uh, lithium ions get rather demanding. All right, so I'm gonna plug this in. So that's what happens when you plug it in. You get a, a light bulb in your face if you don't angle it over right. And here's the LCD display. You got a timer up on top there. If I have to show you, I will with my fingers. Timer up on top. Voltage. You can set the constant amperage. Current amperage. And the voltage. Pull this out. Let's grab a cell and see how easy this is to figure out or not. Pop her in headwise and see what happens. Alright, so the little blue light link blinks and it thinks it's a NIMH, as you can see by the pointer. So we gotta tell it that it's a lithium ion. And it has selected three point six volts there if you can see or not focus time so yeah it's selected 3.6 but i want it up to 4.2 so how do we do that there we go 4.2 and the current's going to be one amp that's fine and if 
that is it. I do believe you're supposed to hit this button here. Well, maybe not. Once the counter starts to click up, that will mean it's getting a charge. But something tells me that's not the case. Let's try pressing this. Still blinking. Still blinking. And no, we don't want it up that high. 4.2 volts would be fine. Thank you. Okay, so I finally got it to start charging. See, it's not blinking anymore. And I did that by pressing and holding this button and the CV button for about five seconds. And then the blinking up here went away and it's, you can see it's starting to charge. It's starting to get a little graph on the charge indication. So that's how you know it's charging. And eventually the little clickety clockety thing will count up it doesn't count up in minutes and seconds it's more like hours and minutes so once a minute passes we'll see that it's uh, getting some and you can see it's uh, I think the voltage has increased a little bit it was at 374 wasn't it um, well we can go back to the tape and look at that but uh, yeah so one minute we'll probably see ah uh, yeah there it goes 3.8 so it's charging one thing I was sort of excited about and come to be disappointed about was that unlike the um, other charger I have, the Fox Pro or the Foxconn, something like that, um, this does not tell you how many milliamp hours uh, goes into the battery or doesn't do a discharge and recharge type of thing. It just will charge it and you'll be done but you have eight slots and if you have a bunch of batteries that need to be charged up well this is your guy um and of course it's the model ai88 compared to the ai87 which was a real piece of shit um this is the ai88 don't be confused so yeah the function indicator function button here that has something to do with being able to copy the settings into the other banks I'm not really sure how that works I mean if you really need to copy settings from one to the other you cut a little too much time on your hands you can just go through and set it and once you've figured out the hold this and hold that procedure then you're you're good so that's it that's the gray falcon um, you know, off of Fleabay or Amazon, wherever fine Chinese electronics are sold. The manual on this is a piece of shit. So don't even bother. It doesn't make any sense. It was converted from uh, Arabic to Chinese to English to Chinese and then to Japanese and then back to Chinese again. And then the English. So you can uh, take it for what it's worth. It won't shake much. It, uh... So anyway, that's it. That's is the Gray Falcon. AI-88 charger. So thanks for watching. If you like, hit the, hit the subscribe button somewhere around there, please. Thank you for watching.